Guys, what's going on? This is Serial at Midnight, and my name is Heath. And in this video, I'm going to share my latest thrift store scores with you guys. Uh, we're talking about Disney movies and John Wayne. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right, guys, as I said at the top of the video, this is a thrift store haul video. Uh, it's spring. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm a little bit under the weather of kind of battling a cold, probably because it's spring, but also because it's spring, this is a great time to be hitting thrift stores and yard sales if you're looking for physical media, if you're looking to pick up movies and music and records and things like that, because people are clearing out their basements and they're cleaning out their garage and they're just taking it all to the thrift store. It's like, uh, it's a it's an embarrassment of riches right now. So I'm going to start with the John Wayne stuff. It's not, not a ton, but I guess somebody just donated their whole John Wayne collection. I didn't pick up everything that was there because I have a lot of John Wayne, uh, but I did not have Rio Lobo, uh, and you know, we won't get too deep into these. I also did not have McClintock, and this is from, it's still sealed, it's still in the package. It's from Walmart, October 2009. Uh, so that's cool. The Quiet Man, John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara. Um, this one is, uh, this is a so Red River. This is one of his very famous, highly regarded movies, Red River. Uh, and I believe there's a Criterion Collection version of this. Just don't quote me if I'm wrong, but I believe that there's a better, like a Criterion Blu-ray of this uh, that I don't have. Uh, and, and this will do just fine in the meantime so I can watch the movie. Last of the John Wayne movies, The Shootist, and I say last of the John Wayne movies because this was also John Wayne's last movie. Uh, this is a really, in my opinion, it's a very powerful movie. You know, John Wayne, it's got Lauren Bacall in it, who was uh, Humphrey Bogart's wife in real life, uh, and eventually his widow. It's an, an aging gunslinger living out his final days, um, trying to come to terms with being older, being told that he's going to die, and how he's going to face that and and what who, who he is in death uh, is he different than who he was in life I actually wrote about this movie for uh, for F this movie which is a website that I write for if you want to read that the links are going to be in the video description but I, I really like the shootist let's move on to the Disney stuff I got my Lion King shirt on Hakuna Matata you guys uh, this is all like obscure Disney there are no you know there's no like Aladdin stuff here we're talking about like live action movies like Johnny Tremaine which I've heard of, but I don't think I've ever seen this DVD anywhere. Uh, this is a 50s movie. Uh, reading the back of it, or like reading the description on the internet, I believe that this movie really inspired Walt and the the thought process behind Liberty Square um, at his parks. Uh, so it's kind of one of those uh, American Revolution stories. And one of the special features on here is the Liberty story, the making of Johnny Tremaine and Johnny Tremaine on TV parts one and two hosted by Walt Disney. So that alone makes this worth a pickup for me. I'm, I'm super excited to have that in my collection. Uh, the Great Locomotive Chase, again, a movie I've heard of, but I don't think, I, I know I've never seen it, but I don't even think I've seen this, like this, this DVD before. Um, to my Fess Parker, the guy who was Davy Crockett, um, made a lot of money for Disney, spawned the whole coonskin cap thing. Uh, and I believe Fess Parker went on to be Daniel Boone too, right? On TV. The Moon Spinners with Haley Mills and uh, who else is in this? Eli Wallach. And again, I, I know Haley Mills from The Parent Trap, but I have never seen this movie. I've heard of it, but I've certainly never seen it. So uh, great, great, great score from the thrift store. Let's get into some newer stuff. Um, Shipwrecked. I actually saw this movie in the theater when I was a kid. I think it came out about 1990. Unfortunately, this is full screen, and I know that this did not play in theaters in full screen. So we've got a cropped uh, cropped DVD, but uh, essentially it's stranded on a jungle island, kidnapped by ruthless pirates. They shared an incredible adventure. It's one of those kids' adventure movies where there was some real, uh, some real stakes. Uh, just a cool pirate movie with Gabriel Byrne in it, who um, maybe you know from The Usual Suspects got Night Crossing. Uh, this movie tells the story of this um, the, this family, this group of people who escaped from communist East Germany via an air balloon. Uh, and of course, that is prime material for a Disney movie. Um, so that's cool. I'm super excited to have that. Here's a weird one. Uh, the Three Musketeers. The movie's not weird. What's weird is that I recently cataloged 
all this back here and put it into a database and I could have sworn that I own this movie on DVD but uh, the database doesn't lie I do not have or I did not have the three musketeers Charlie Sheen Kiefer Sutherland Chris O'Donnell Oliver Platt I love this movie so much this is uh, from my childhood era of Disney this shipwrecked um, these are movies this was like after Robin Hood Prince of Thieves but it was still that that adventure swashbuckling kind of atmosphere uh, love this movie I hope that one day it gets a blu-ray because I really think it deserves it maybe even if it's just one of those Disney exclusive blu-rays guys this I don't know how we're gonna do on the camera with uh, with a silver <laughs> with a reflective case but I picked up Walt Disney on the front lines the Disney treasures edition uh, this is the the stuff so during World War two at the beginning of World War two I guess right after Pearl Harbor uh, 19. 41 um, the government the US government took over Walt Disney Studios and the people who had not gone to the front lines were basically tasked with making propaganda movies through Disney for mass consumption so uh, I believe there's a an entire there's a bunch of propaganda stuff on here made by Disney Donald Duck promoting the war effort all that kind of stuff it was about four years that I think this went on and this is kind of a collection of all of that stuff so I am super excited to have this it's still in the tin tins a little beat up but I it's not rusty or anything I've seen some bad looking tins in my day uh, it's still got the uh, the booklet it's got the postcard and it has the certificate of authenticity uh, one more thing and this is kind of fun um, so it's not this I, this is for reference so this Treasure Island movie the, the early 50s Disney Treasure Island movie I adore this movie it's fantastic um, but uh, what some people don't know is that a year or so after this movie came out 1954 uh, this the guy who plays Long John Silver uh, Robert Newton and the director of this movie made a sequel with a company besides Disney and and here it is I picked this up uh, so the same guy that probably donated all these Disney movies also had this uh, it's Long John Silver's Return to Treasure Island I've seen this build as a couple of different things I think maybe Return to Treasure Island might have been one of the titles and I think also Long John Silver was one of the titles I'm not sure but it's the same star and it's the same director of Treasure Island and they just kinda went off and they made a sequel and uh, Disney had nothing to do with it and of course it's, it's not as good as the Disney movie but it's a curiosity and whoever you know whoever had this collection really knew their stuff because uh, this belongs right next to this so guys that's all I have for you uh, I appreciate your time thanks for checking out this video head over serial at midnight.com uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it if you want to see more thrift store hauls let me know and engage in the comments below you guys have been in any thrift stores lately uh, have you found anything awesome this is a golden time for thrift stores because one it's spring which is already a great time for thrift stores but two we're in this point in uh, in history where people don't want their physical media so they're just donating tons and tons of stuff to the thrift stores um, so this is the, this is the time so let me know if you find anything and uh, again thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch you later